I'm joined now by Keith Cowing. He's the editor of nasawatch.com. He's also an astrobiologist and a former rocket scientist. Um, Keith, what would that Space Force look like? Well, you know, uh, President Trump likes to say Space Force, and a lot of the folks who might be called to implement that are sort of scratching their heads. It means different things to different people. In a grand sense, it means pretty much how we deal with the threat of military weapons in space, and, uh, and there are many countries who have those things up there. Uh, and a lot of people would say, well, we're already doing that. Why do we need something with a new name and a new zip code and a new telephone number? Uh, some other people say, well, maybe this is a bigger thing that maybe we're going to expand beyond what is being done. And again, these conferences are sort of uh, working it out. And of course, if you watch enough sci-fi, you say, well, wait, you know, Space Force, are we going to defend the Earth from asteroids coming in? Some people think it should be that. So it's the old adage in Washington, where you stand depends on where you sit. Still the announcement coming at a specific time. Why now? Uh, President Trump has an interest in space, and uh, he likes to, he was at a conference, I was actually at at the White House down the street last week, and he made a point of saying, well, by the way, we're going to have a Space Force, and everybody in the room was nodding, saying, okay, we're going to have a Space Force, and that was it. We haven't got all the details yet. So we're waiting for those details, but previous administrations backed away somewhat from space exploration. Um, that opened the door for the private sector, so do you think... Uh, Trump's push in that direction will reverse that, or does it actually enhance it? Well, there's two different things, but they overlap. I mean, the commercial space sector is launching more and more military satellites, but the commercial space sector is also launching more of their own satellites and soon people. And the previous administration, the Obama folks, were pushing commercial space, but the Republicans in the House were against it, which is kind of weird because normally the Republicans would be for commercial space. Well, now it's sort of the polarities reversed, and now you have this administration pushing commercial space, and there's a broader consensus. So there's a bit of a pendulum that goes back and forth on all this stuff, but it seems to be right now that the interest in space in general, whether it be commercial space, civilian space, or military space, all seems to be moving in the same direction. So that's different. Donald Trump's words are heard around the world, but they're often said for domestic consumption. But this one, when you're talking about space, was that language intended for an international audience, how should the rest of the world, specifically some countries, be hearing this? Well, I, I can't get inside of his head. I, I, I do think, to a certain extent, it sounds cool, Space Force. Um, but I, it, it does, if you have to listen to some of the other things that he said, and he's talked about America exerting leadership in space again and moving out there and so forth. So it's part of a broader sort of theme that he's been following. As far as the rest of the world, um, in some ways, we're probably catching up to them because there's a lot of co uh, countries, China, India, Japan, and so forth, that already have figured out that they mm -hmm. want to be in space, and they want to be the leaders, too. So that's interesting. Everybody wants to be the leader, and nobody wants to be the follower. A sixth military force, the money will have to come from somewhere. I know we don't have a lot of details. Where will it come from? Uh, that's the big question, and it, even if you said tomorrow, and Congress, of course, hasn't been asked exactly what they want to do, but if Congress went and voted on this, it would probably take six to eight years and cost a lot of money, and you'd have to hire people. And again, the question really is, should we not be focusing what we're already doing in space in terms of military assets, or should we just be distracted by creating a new office over the Pentagon and new uniforms and things like that? Do you think, Keith, this will re-excite the kids at home when they hear Space Force? I think they're already excited, and I think they always have been excited about space. I think, like I said before, there is a broad sort of interest in all aspects of space that's starting to bubble up again at NASA. And I think that's already gotten kids' attention. So uh, whether it's space force or space exploration or, or Earth science from space, it's all space and it's all good. I don't know if we can sign you up for it, but uh, I'll check with you next time. I'd Keith, go tomorrow, you. yes. <laughs> thank you for joining us. Keith Cowing, editor of NASAwatch.com.